So this is another coaster that I have fired and you can see that once it's fired you get a lot of very attractive cracking and a bit of mixing of the colors that uh, were in the glass before firing. However, because the glass cracks, it is a possible safety issue, certainly not food safe, and um, I'm concerned that there may be chips that come out of it and then people could cut themselves on it. So uh, I've tried a couple of different ways of firing it, including firing the um, coaster itself to 2,232 degrees, which is a cone six firing, which is a glaze temperature, and then adding the glass, and even that doesn't seem to fix it. So what I have done is um, basically try to preserve the cracking, but also seal the surface so that people aren't accessing the cracked glass. So I'll show you the technique I used for that. Uh, first off, I just added resin to the top and what that did was fill in all the cracks, which is safe-er, but doesn't look as attractive. So what I then did was added a layer of acrylic paint to fill in the cracks and keep the resin out of the cracks and that allows the cracks to remain uh, in appearance, but they are not at the surface anymore. So I'll show you how I did that. So depending on the colors that I was using in the actual um, coaster, I chose a different color of paint. This one is reds and golds. So I've chosen to use a gold paint on it. Now, even if you can't see it on the camera, this actually illustrates that even the smoothest surface had cracks because I've done this on quite a few coasters now. And every single time when you get it in just the right light, which probably isn't possible with the uh, camera the way it is, you can actually see the surface cracks uh, because they get outlined by the, the paint. So the next step is to put some resin on this like you can see the cracking all in along here. Anyways, resin across the surface of that and let it dry. And I'll show you some samples of some other ones that are already finished. This is one of the ones that I tried with just resin and you can see there's a few cracks left, but a lot of them compared to the other ones have disappeared because they've gotten filled in. So that was considered okay, but not great. So this is when I tried the acrylic first and some of these will show again you probably won't be able to see the um, the acrylic paint but you can just see a spider webbing of silver in this one silver in that one the cracks on that were very fine anyway um, so very fine silver cracks on that I put gold on that one hopefully you can see some of them and here's one similar to the one I just showed you, which I put gold in. And then the finale, or the pièce de résistance, are these little bowls that my teenager made, um, which are meant to be little ring holders. So we have a little toadstool, and then the little pool below with some gold embossing on the cracks, and then a blue version as well.